Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome back to our channel, The Eaton Squad. My name is Addie. So for today's video, let's talk about the Nia facelift. This has officially been turned over to San Miguel Corporation and will get started the 15-year plan on rehabilitation of our airport to a world-class one. Are we really going to keep up with other international airports on that level? Let's talk about the improvements and what you guys must expect with this turnover. Details coming up. So you guys have probably seen the news. We also made an update that there's going to be terminal reassignments again after they did one last year so the very recent one is because the turnover of Naia Manila Airport has officially started last September 14th of 2024 San Miguel Corporation is going to do a facelift to our airport in the capital city in Manila to be one of those world-class airports According to the CEO of this project, he said, we can begin the work of organizing our airport and giving Filipino people the world-class facility they deserve. Now, this is not going to be a one-time shot. They have a 15 years rehabilitation plan. So the improvement that you guys will probably experience this will be done gradually. This is not going to be done in one day time. Like I said, 15 years. But for sure, we are going to see improvements. For sure, we are going to see great implementation of this project. But we will probably also going to be seeing or experiencing higher fees because this is now run by private companies so what should we expect on the facelift that they are going to be doing at ninoy aquino international airport according to sir ramon ang this is the ceo of this project that beginning the third month to one year after turnover they hope to add new toilets and refurbished existing ones so this is good because if you guys have been traveling back and forth to the philippines i've seen the worst of naia airport when traveling internationally but the very recent they actually have clean organized bathrooms so i give them that but if they are going to improve that department as well that is really good especially if they add more especially like they said they are going to refurbish those existing one and adding new toilets at the airport so the rehabilitation also includes new air conditioning units and additional seats to be installed if you guys have just recently traveled if you have experience Terminal 3 it was very hot for passengers because the air conditioning system at Terminal 3 broke down and they have to fix it for a few days. So travelers have really experienced hot weather inside the airport. So with this improvement that they are going to be putting in on the facelift of Naia Airport, this is really good. So travelers will get comfortable while they are waiting on their flight. Travelers would not have to go out of the airport when they're waiting on something or if in case their flight gets delayed or their flights gets rescheduled they have a comfortable area that they can wait until they can take off fast reliable internet connection will be improved hallelujah this would be good and I'm really hoping it will happen. You guys know how the internet connection in the Philippines, it's very slow, particularly at the airport. If you don't have your own data, you cannot really rely on the internet connection 
of the airport. And this is good that this is part of their improvement that they are going to be doing on this project. Increase passenger capacity to 62 million from the current capacity of 35. So by doing this, they are probably going to be expanding the airport because if it's going to remain as is, then that is going to be hard. It's already crowded with 32 million currently. They want to increase to 62 million. So they will have to double up the space and able to cater this many passengers. To increase traffic movement to 48 takeoffs and landings during peak hours from the current 40 per hour. So maybe we can avoid delays, reschedule canceled flights with this project that they're gonna be doing. We shall see. We are going to keep an eye on this improvement so we should feel or experience some improvement on this project. This project also comes an increase of fees. I know Travelers is not going to like this because this just means that their ticket prices are going to go up. Because if you guys don't know, terminal fees are already included on your ticket. So... Having an increase in the terminal fee is going to also increase on your tickets. For me, if I will experience better services at the airport, if I experience top-notch service along with the higher fees that they are charging travelers, then that should be fine. But if they are going to increase the fees, Without any improvement at all, the services has just gotten worse, then that's not even fair for the travelers. The increase in fees that they are talking about before international fees, international terminal fees is just only 550 pesos. They are going to bump it up to 950 pesos. So there is an increase of 400 pesos for international terminal fees. For local flights, domestic flights, that used to be 200 pesos, it's going to be 390. So there's an increase of 190 pesos for that. And like I said, increase on fees is not bad for as long as we feel and experience the services that we had paid for on terminal fees. Not only the terminal fees is going to increase, they are also going to be increasing the landing and takeoff fees for foreign flights as well as domestic flights. I don't really go through the itemized fees that they put in on your ticket. I know some of them, but I did not realize that this is also included in our ticket, the takeoff and landing fees. Now that this has been mentioned, I will definitely look for these fees and how much they charge per passenger if you are flying internationally or domestically. But heads up travelers, this will increase as well. Also, special handling fees are going to increase as well. Like I said, with all these fees increasing, Terminal fee, takeoff and landing fee, special handling fee that are all included in your plane tickets before pretty much we could tell that our plane ticket is going to increase as well. Aside from the fuel charge that they charge us and stuff. So it is going to be an interesting project, an interesting facelift of Naia Airport for the next 15 years. Just like I said, it's not going to be a one-day charge. It's going to be gradually, hopefully, little by little, we will feel or we will see the fees that's included in our ticket and not just a one-time shot because can you imagine? So we will definitely keep an eye on that. They've also talked about improved aircraft parking base. That would be nice, maybe, on this project that they are going to be doing, we don't have to ride the bus to go to our aircraft. That would be something because I have never experienced this before. 
that you go to your gate then you go through a ramp and you're at your aircraft these days you go to your gate you have to hop on a bus then they will take you to your aircraft so hopefully with what they are saying aircraft parking base we don't have to experience that at all they will also increase vehicular parking space so i don't know with you guys if you guys are going to the airport in your own vehicle that you guys have to park if now it's free i know there are some parking spaces at the airport that's free but there are also parking spaces that you have to pay so they have not mentioned if there's any increase on that or they will start charging vehicles that's going to park but they will definitely do a vehicular parking space installation of world-class systems and technology so i guess this is their ultimate goal to rehabilitate Naia to a world-class airport just like other neighboring Asian countries on their international airport. So it's exciting to hear it, but we should see the improvement first if it's doable. For sure, it's doable because it is now managed by San Miguel Corporation. So we have to give them a chance to, you know, improve our airport at least on where they can take our airport or on what level they can take our current international airport to a world-class facility they've also talked about more convenient land transport and connectivity that would be great just like other international airports you go out this door you hop on a train then you are taken to the next terminal in our airport you have to get out of the airport you have to either grab a taxi or an uber or take the bus to go to the next terminal if they are going to be improving this at the airport that would be a nice experience in the philippines they are going to be putting up more stores restaurants at the airport for passengers to get something to eat while they are waiting on their flights right now they actually have some decent food court that you can dine in at the airport but they're talking about putting up more so travelers will have more options inside the airport all those are really good to hear now we just have to wait and see how are they going to implement this how is this project going to materialize under San Miguel Corporation and hopefully we are going to experience personally the improvement that they have said during the turnover of Naia Airport. How about you guys? What's your take on this new project handed by San Miguel Corporation on the facelift of Naia Airport? Are you guys expecting too much or nah? We shall see, like, I have to see it to believe it type thing. Let me know in the comment section, and I really appreciate it. So this is our latest update. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, or inquiries with regards to this video or in any of our travel-related videos, please comment it down below, and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. Again, guys, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel and to our family. I hope to see you on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.